An 88-77 win for the Quinnipiac Bobcats over the Lafayette Leopards. Welcome to Q30 Sports, the rebound. I'm Brian Schwartz with Josh Silverman on Lender Court. And Josh, typically slow starts for the Bobcats today. It was a quick one. They got out fast, and they were leading by a lot early. It was anything but a slow start for the Bobcats, Brian. You know, they came in shooting threes, took advantage of the zone that Lafayette was playing. And you know what? When you're able to have Rich Kelly back in the lineup, their, their star point guard is able to find looks. And Tyrese Williams did a great job both shooting and facilitating. Cam Young was knocking down shots all over. So it was a great start for the Bobcats. Earlier this week, Abdullah Boondu told us that the team started slow and practiced a lot, but that they need to ramp it up. And Baker Dunleavy said he thinks they have. I think just in terms of if he's saying that to you, then there's a recognition and an acceptance that we need to get better at it. And so um, our guys are concentrating on that. I'm concentrating on it. But it, it all comes with where our mindset is. And, and those guys admit it. They, they say to themselves, this is something we got to get better at. And they've, and they've put themselves towards that. Part of that quick start for the Bobcats today was the three-point shooting, Josh. They shot 44.8% from beyond the arc. A lot of it was Tyrese Williams and Cam Young early on. You know, Brian, this is exactly what you need to do against a team that is playing a zone. Is you got to knock down your threes. It opens up the rest of the floor. And if you're the Bobcats, you're a team that likes to shoot. Baker Dunleavy, we just spoke to him, said they have a lot of great shooters on this team, and that's true. So when they show up and they, they do what they're supposed to do, they knock down their threes. It's going to be very hard to beat this team, especially come to conference play. Tyrese Williams had an outstanding first half Cam Young as well. It feels great, um, honestly, just because these guys, they look and to kick and drive, and it's just our offense, like drive, uh, jump stop, kick, whoever's open, uh, knock down a shot. I think it gives us confidence uh, knowing that we can shoot the ball so well, but um, at the same time, we, we got to be more locked in on the defensive end and um, commit to getting stops, and that's going to help us win uh, uh, more consistently. Along with Young and Williams having strong games today, Rich Kelly made his home debut after an injury early on in the season. He had a nice game. He really helps a lot of other players on this team perform. No, it's because one thing he does is he does make Tyrese Williams bring up the ball. Baker Dunleavy just talked about it, that now Tyrese Williams can move to the two, which is his natural position. And Rich Kelly, you see the way he sees the floor. It's better than anyone else does on the team and better than most players do in the entire conference. So him being on the floor just brings a, a comfort level to the Bobcats that they've lacked and scoring that they've lacked. I think, I think he makes players around him better, and I think that's the first thing. And that's, that's, that's his major talent, and I think we're thankful for that. Uh, the other piece of that is he allows Tyrese Williams to slide back to the two where he's more comfortable. Uh, he allows Cameron Young to play more off the ball where he's more comfortable. I think he can go down. It's like a domino effect. I think his presence allows everybody to play more to their strengths. And so with him, we've been playing some more smaller mobile lineups. We've been defensively better because we're more connected. He talks. So there's, the list goes on. But I, I think... Even though he's a sophomore, he played a lot of minutes last year, started all of our games. So his presence, um, you know, there's, there's wisdom to his presence on the floor for us. 88-77 to 77 win for Quinnipiac. Next up is Drexel next Sunday at Mohegan Sun. He's Josh Silverman. I'm Brian Schwartz. Thanks for tuning in to The Rebound presented by Q30 Sports.